What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to another player review on my channel. Now today guys, we are going to be doing another player review obviously, but this time we're going to be doing something a little bit different. All of the players that we have looked at so far have been attacking minded players. A lot of strikers, a lot of wingers and a lot of central attacking midfielders as well. And in this player review today, we are going to be looking at a young German CDM who goes by the name of Johannes Geis. At the start of career mode, he has a 77 overall at the age of 21. He is a CDM, obviously, like I did say, and he has a value of £3 million. He is also showing great potential, so he's got decent potential to begin with, but that could be a little bit better. Having a little look at his stats though, he's got some very nice well-rounded stats overall. Lots of yellows, lots of nice greens and a few dark greens in there as well. 83 jumping, 82 stamina, pretty decent I have to admit for a CDM. He's also got some good strength there at 76. Some very well-rounded mental attributes and as well as that he's got some pretty well-rounded skill attributes as well. Apart from his finishing which is in the red, all of his stats are looking very very impressive for this young age. He is 5 foot 11, he is a right footed player, he's got medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skills. And he starts off with a fair few traits as well, he's got the power free kick trait, the long passer trait and also the long shot taker trait. And after a total of 8 seasons in career mode, Johannes Geis gets to an 89 overall. He is worth 24 million, so that is a big increase in his value. But now we are going to be taking a little look at the important bit, what his stats are at full potential. And we are firstly going to be taking a little look at his physical attributes. They are pretty decent. They could be a little bit better. I think with players this year, they don't really grow that well in their physical attributes sometimes. That was the case here with Geis. He's got some really, really good mental attributes. He had good mental attributes to begin with. And these are even better now that he's at full potential. But as with a lot of these players, their skill attributes are where they make up for their rating. And where they really do prove their worth. Because this guy, he has, well, some of the most well-rounded stats I've ever seen in any FIFA for skill attributes. 97 ball control, 88 crossing. I could read all of these out, but it would take forever. In other words, he's just got dark greens everywhere, and in the stats that he doesn't have dark greens in, he's still very, very close to getting those. The specialities he does end up picking up are dribbler, playmaker, distance shooter, crosser, and the complete midfielder speciality. He has some of the best stats I've ever seen on any midfielder, but does he play well in game? That is what we are now going to find out in the review section, and we are going to be taking a look at some gameplay of this guy now and seeing whether he is worth buying or not for your career mode. So now we're going to be moving on to the gameplay for Johannes, guys. Now, bear in mind, what you're about to see in this first clip is completely ridiculous. 35 yards out, first touch that I had with Johannes, guys, and he scores a really good free kick. I know he does have the power free kick trait, but that's his first positive that I'm going to be talking about. He has some fantastic free kicks. That is something that you will notice. He's got some brilliant long shots as well. He's got those traits to pull it off and in, well, in one single game, he managed to get not one, but two free kicks into the back of the net. That really is ridiculous. Like I said, I know he does have the long shot taker trait and also the power free kick trait, but he really has some of the best free kicks that I've had or have used on this year's game. He really is that good and he draws a lot of fouls. So it means that a lot of chances come from him. He gets on the ball. He ends up scoring a lot of the free kicks and he really is good in that sense. He's also very rapid, surprisingly enough, even though he has about 65 pace. He seemed really, really quick, maybe because he has the dribbler trait and he can get around defenders very easily like he did there with that goal. Very, very easy to get around defenders with this guy. He's got a thunderous long shot. You'll see that I almost managed to score a few long shots with this guy from open play. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get one in. But if you know how to take long shots, like I say in a lot of these player reviews, you will be able to get these long shots into the back of the net. And it will feel good once you hit them. Because this guy really does have a very good technique on his long shots. And if you can get them into the back of the net, it's even better. Because that feeling when you score a long shot with a player is fantastic. I played him in three positions. CDM, CM and Cam. To summarise that, he played a lot better as a central attacking midfielder, surprisingly. I don't really know why it was. He just had really, really good passing. And ironically, although finishing is his lowest stat, he finished off pretty much every chance that he had on goal. And you'll see a lot of goals scored by him in the centre attack and midfield position. And before that, I was really struggling to get clips with him. He was struggling at CDM. 
And I don't know why that is. He just plays a lot better as a cam. Even though he doesn't have the skills, he doesn't necessarily have the finishing or the skill moves to be a really, really good cam. He still felt like he was a very, very good center attack midfielder to have. And surprisingly enough, even though finishing was one of his lowest stats on his card, he ironically finished off a load of chances for me. And he really is working well for me as a cam. And you should probably try him out as a cam. Maybe you'll find that he is a very good central attacking midfielder. For me, he is anyway. And now we're going to move on to his cons very quickly. There really isn't much to talk about with this guy badly anyway. There really is a lot to say that's good about him. But for Geis, I'd say that he's not really that great in the air due to his poor height. He's only 5'11", so if you're planning on playing him as a CDM, you may have a bit of trouble with that because you may lose a lot of midfield battles in the air, you know, from goal kicks when the goalkeeper kicks it out. And overall, I'd give Geis a 10 out of 10. Really, he is a fantastic player to have in your side. Down the spine of the midfield, he will do the job wherever you play him. CDM, central midfield, or cam, he will do a fantastic job wherever you play him. And overall, I think he is a must-buy for any career mode. But this is going to be the end of this player review, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed. And if you have enjoyed this episode of this player review, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help out my channel, guys. And it shows me you are enjoying this video and that you do want these player reviews to continue, basically. Also, let me know in the comments down below what I can do to improve these player reviews and what play players I should end up reviewing next. Let me know in the comments down below. But apart from that, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I'll see you next time for another video. Thanks for watching.